my friends. Welcome back to my channel. It's your friend, The Rich Life. Well, I ordered hamburgers, but my hamburger didn't come. So, I was like, hey, I'm not feeling too well. Even my mother's doctor the day said, you don't look well as soon as I walked in, as soon as she walked in the room. I was like, well, you know what makes me feel better is my Chinese soup. So I got my soup and we have some, something different. So let's see if my order is correct. Okay. Instead of having noodles, I thought I would try the combination rice. That looks delicious, huh? Oh, then we have regular white rice. Um. I'll just put that to the side because um, I don't need both rices. And I have beef and broccoli. So, at least I gave them my money back for my hamburger bowl. This costs more, but this lasts at least three or four meals. I need some soy sauce. Oh, that's a bag or something. I'm sorry if I look rough. I just put my hair back and I have brushed my teeth thing. Put my little lipstick on. Because I've been cleaning the house and I just gave dogs baths. So I'm just putting up my soup. So what's everybody else been doing? Well, I see today is Saturday. I think it's the third. I don't know. Well, we were so excited to watch the Indian football game. We only got to watch it to half time and then they kept on saying all this bad weather. We didn't have no bad weather at our house. We don't live that far from Cowfield. So they finally brought it back. I think the last eight minutes we got to watch it. It was on another channel. So, 
Ahí mismo. Bueno. Bueno, what's the last eight minutes of the game? They're both gone. Uh, I think it finally started up three hours later. Four hours later. So I assumed everybody decided to go home. I read there's a soy sauce shortage. Um, I believe it. Because, um, I know these Chinese restaurants, they're cheap. They do love to give you lots of soy sauce. And now these. They only give you a little bit. I did that um, cut pack one last month. I think there's shrimp might be sick. I haven't been feeling well. The first dark pepper day. Man, I've been busy all day to drink. And I got a little tea here. Plus, not drinking all day, too. Always not good either. I'm gonna pour some of this beef and broccoli on top of the rice here. Okay. Mmm. That cotton patch meal. It's kind of terrible. Let's see if I can turn that down some. No. Oh. I can get me some here. I thought I'd be like these other mukbangers. They're at home. But then you see them eating with lots of cutlery. I'm not gonna do that. I wish I could make this soup. Man, I'd pay the cook to show me how to make that. I 
I've got my bed all changed. I'm still finishing the washing. What is it? Let me say it's hot. Oh, my doggies did so good taking a bath. That Bentley, he still hates water. Mm. I'm really glad I got this broccoli. Rolling this rice. Is this rice? Mm. I see why people put that on sweet and sour sauce on it. Give it some juice. I was going to fry some chicken wings. I had them in the refrigerator for two days. I got a good morrow. Well, if you go back and watch that cat and pets video, you'll see how wild Mister was. All of them. They're not so nice and. Quiet. Well, the other ones are outside. I think I'm starting to feel better now. I think I was hungry. I hadn't eaten all day. I hadn't drank anything. I just made my duck pepper when I Put them in order. I'm hoping this rice don't make me sick. It usually does. I hope not. I ordered some probiotics. If you're following me on Facebook, you know I posted a few days ago about Debbie Gibson. She was talking about her stomach issues she's had since she was like a teenager. She kept on, on, oh my God. I loved her. Oh my God. Get to the point. It was like 45 minutes. I finally had to skip to where she was trying to sell this stuff. I was like, well, I don't know what did what she oh I think it was something on powder. I don't want powder. I bought that what was it? Liquid. Oh that's what was it? I bought I throw away potassium whatever. Liquid IV. Well, I don't trust these people selling this stuff on YouTube and stuff, Facebook. I'm 
They come to me asking. You try to sell something? I'm really going to have to really, really like it. No, that y'all like it too. I'm not doing that for money. I sit there and watch these videos like, oh, I have such high praises for these people. I was like, oh, I just love the videos. And then they sell this stuff. And then I'll, I'll order something. And um. It's always terrible. Tell me in the comments what you would buy from someone on the YouTube channel. Did you like it? Did you not like it? I bet you didn't like whatever it was. Then I see Hello Fresh. I can see that's very good for working parents. People are working all the time. You know, if you don't cook. Barnabas, sit up. stop doing that. I think I dried, dried his ears again. But you got these people that stay home all the time. They cook on their show. Their YouTube channel. But you're going to partner up with HelloFresh. Why? That don't make no sense. I'm mean, going to do what? You need to rework, rework your words. Oh, I am getting so sick of that rice. Oh, it's really getting heavy in my stomach. Take one piece of meat. That's about two, three more meals. But thank goodness I got that beef and broccoli to stick in there. That dry, rice was really dry. Maybe it's supposed to be dry. I don't ever buy this stuff. Everywhere. Well, look like I've just had a wedding in here. Since I'm too neat, let's see. Still sipping on Hmm. I need 
start my Halloween decoration, decorating the house outside. I like to have time to enjoy it. Anyone else like that? Because when you get Halloween, you, then you go into Thanksgiving, then you go into Christmas, then you go into New Year's, then you go into Valentine's. I don't know, you got all these holidays. You don't have time to enjoy it. I don't know why they have all these holidays right together. I love that soup, but I wanted something different. But I'll tell you what, there is not a choice of really soups from here. But see, all these restaurants have the same soup. And it's so expensive. Somebody had a bowl of soup for $13 or something. That better be a big old bowl of soup. I don't know. Just, this is like $8. Ridiculous. I hope I sleep good night. I did not sleep good last night at all. Me and my doctor, we're about to have it out on tea. They, she keeps telling me, you're not taking a fluid pill at night. Well, there's something making me go to the bathroom every five, ten minutes. I do that for four or five hours. So finally last night, about two o'clock in the morning, I finally got up because I'm, I found out how you can watch TV shows and movies on Amazon Prime on my TV. So I was watching Desperate Housewives. I love Desperate Housewives. But there's so many they have. And then you click on them, whatever. It says something to click on something on a wish list or something. Watch list? Something like that. But I can't figure out how do you start them up. A bunch of them. And then a bunch of them. You gotta pay for. And it's like, Amazon. I bought all those DVDs and Blu-rays from y'all. Why should I have to pay again to watch them on my TV? I was like, no, no, no. That ain't gonna mm. I'll just get my, my DVDs out. My Blu-rays and I watch them for free. I'm ready to pay for them. tell you what, it seems like I've only been on here about five minutes. But I'll tell you what, I don't know if anybody's like me, but I really do enjoy watching my videos. They're just um, so relaxing. They're just so funny. They're just so educational. You just learn so much from my channel. That last video, y'all learned so much about donkeys and all kind of stuff. <laughs> I'm trying to think. Oh, well, I do have this one. 
It's about cats. Well, a long time ago, back in, I guess, late 70s or early 80s or something, they had this show called The Gong Show. And um, they had this African-American guy came out and started singing, I'm gonna do something freaky to you. He kept on singing and I'm gonna do something freaky to you. <laughs> it was so funny. He's up there singing, dancing, and the following they gong in. And um, I can't. You know, he had different color hair. It was like rainbow bow hair. Because we're going to need that point. We're going to need that part. So, our cat was pregnant. And she had kittens that night. In my grandmother's closet. So, she had this one little kitty cat. A little kitten. A little runt. We named her Freaky. She was all different kinds of colors. So we'd always sing, I'm gonna do something to you to her. She was so funny. So she had this one litter of kittens. She had them on my grandmother's front porch. It was nice, it was um, semen at it and it was screened in. It was real nice. And um, she had them out there. Next morning, I go out there and check on those kittens. What do I see? Little heads. She ate the bodies and left the heads all over the porch. Mm. Anybody had that happen? People said, well, something must have been wrong with it. the kittens. But she's gonna eat the bodies. She might as well eat those heads too. But she just loved those heads. Those kitten heads all over the porch. Uh, yeah. Animals do some f funny things. We had one dog chewed his leg off. With nothing there except a, a bone. During the night, he just said it. He's going to chew his leg off. So we had to um, take it to the vet. <coughs> Man. Man, a piece of rice was hiding in my mouth. Some killer rice. Hold on. It's been hiding in my mouth somewhere. So, when we were leaving Calvert to go to her and to the vet, my mother was at the stoplight to get on Highway 6. This lady ran the red light and hit my mother's car. We had the doggy with his leg bone. Then that car wreck knocked his eyeball. <laughs> it was a spit, white spit. His name was Sugar. So he had to get his leg amputated and get his eyeball taken out. <laughs> Yeah, the lady, she ran the red light. It, it didn't hurt my mother's Oldsmobile 98. Um, they were made like a tank. But her car, it was like something in the movie. Just pieces going everywhere. Yeah, there wasn't much left that car. It just, pieces just flying, popping off, and hubcaps, and just everything just going every which way. Fenders and whatever. 
come off the car and it, they were just falling off. No, she did was um like hit the front part of the my mother's Oldsmobile. And see they had those nice um what are they um bumpers. I've always said that. If you make cars in a dealership listen to this and insurance companies, funeral homes, hospitals, steel bumpers will save lives. You put those steel bumpers back on cars, you will save lives. Car prices go down. The car insurance go down. Hospital bills will go down. Funeral expenses should go down. Well, they, they they're gonna lose a lot of job, a lot of business funeral homes, but steel bumpers save lives. Yeah. So those car doors, they were so heavy, man. I miss cars back then. These cars nowadays, they have no personalities. They all look the same. They're all the same color. I don't like them. Well, well I'm going to let y'all go here because we're already up to almost 33 minutes. And um, I'm going to let y'all get back to whatever y'all are doing. Watch the next YouTube video. Or go back and watch some previous ones of mine. Yeah. Y'all seems like some y'all haven't come back enough. Y'all go back enough? There's some good ones back there too. But I've gotten better over time. But you got to go back and look and see how I started. Yeah. So, but I think I've gotten better. But now you need to click that subscribe button. Click that like button. Click that bell notification. Leave a comment, share, and I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.